Just the center stage because that's where that's where you need to be. Yeah, if I and but if it was me versus you, where's where's the you second just place? Idea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I'm thinking either the purple, this gray maroon, or that red. Well, what about all of them? I like this too. I might just take this one. Can have it. Or I'll sign it <laughs> after it. after the workout. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say is that like we we could do the whole soccer thing, but I don't know. That gets a little weird fast. <laughs> but what well, what did you want? No, those are the ones that I I, mean, I like them all to be honest. But well, just grab them all. No, I you, like man. that blue one. That yeah, that looks good. Oh, the color for you pulls out your eyes. You want to... what? <laughs> I don't know what he said, but I do agree. You got to go with the um, the dragon's layer red. There we go. Got to have this one. This is the one. Oh, yeah. Huh? You just you have to decide what you want to wear right now. That's all. And then, and then, okay. And then after the work, I'll grab more. Okay, and then first deal. He's like, we got to train, man. Stop shopping. <laughs> yeah, this is different than the last time I saw it, man. You got more pieces in it stuff too, right? Yeah, I got an extra yeah, set, yeah. 20 pieces. On the leg room back there too, you seen that? Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I just yeah. saw that. <laughs> this, is yeah. what, this is what I do at nine o'clock. I'm pretending I don't know about this. Yeah. Like, the fuck is going on with you? That's how you got your glutes shredded. That like focus on the place. The old boat, that's all right. Still picking up my tips. <laughs> we both of us. <laughs> Twelve weeks of the master. <laughs> <laughs> You're your old boat. No, I know. <laughs> I was gonna actually run with that this year. Every time I start making jokes about masters compared to us, I get more and more grey hairs. <laughs> That's on the lawn in my fucking beard. Don't close up on that shit. Have you ever had any issues with growing your chest? Is that a body part? That yeah. Yeah? To be honest, yeah. That has been one of the more lagging body parts over the years. When I first started bodybuilding, mm -hmm. I had no chest. Yeah, none. Same. So it's taken me a long time to even get the mind-muscle connection. Mm -hmm. And then once I found that over the last couple of years, to be honest, that's when my chest really started growing. Yeah. Um, so that was one area from last year that, you know, people want, judges, people want to see improved. And I agree, man. I've always wanted to have that, that Arnold chest, that huge, crazy, popping chest. And so I do think that structurally, my shoulders are wider, my clavicle bones are wider. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to grow a thicker chest, mm. but it's come up a long way. It was definitely me. That to me was one of them body parts that I was already a pro a couple of years in, and then all of a sudden it just clicked. I don't know what I was doing. I tell you what, my ego was lifting, mm. and I had to just pull my, my shoulders back, pinch myself with some exercises, because I didn't know I was doing this, because bad form, none, nobody corrected me. I would start throwing through with my chest. I throw it through my delts. Delt yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you there. Yeah. So instead of like throwing throwing back, yeah. I'm I'm popping a cup in. That that that's the exit. Uh oh. You guys got the freaking savages. savages. And thanks for motivating a lot, man. Hey guys. We got a couple of pieces of great. This really great. Jesus Christ. Now yeah. come here. Where did these guys come from? Let's get out of here. What happens when you're Lewis and you have the Dragon's Layer channel? Was when Derek Lunsford is in town, um, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, is that Derek Lunsford?" And I'm like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! What about me? What about me? What about me?" <laughs> Fuck six. Yeah, right. At least we were only two warm-ups in. <laughs> right, right. This is a workout that uh, you're, you're, you're far enough away from the Olympia that yeah. we can have a little dialogue in between. Right, right. Because you know, like right now is a time to have fun and want to be in the gym. You know, be able to crack some jokes, like you said. You know, training seriously. We're we're, we're here to to get better every day, but you know, we're, we are 16 weeks from the from the O, so I get it. The problem is for me and my trainer, Bonds. It they would be it. it'd be 16 and a half weeks, I'm like this, yeah. and then the 16 weeks, and I'm like, oh, what happened? Literally, it's like just yeah, it wrong, guys. <laughs> Literally, be your own fucking time. I'm like, everybody's like, oh shit, Olympia prep's begun. I don't give them any grace period too. It's just like. It's just that one day you like flip the mindset yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, that's it. It's going to no be it's coming close to you now, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 When did you switch that? 15 weeks? 16? What is it? What is it? Well, my mindset kind of switched, I would say, last week. Oh. But then I had this little trip. So, yeah. like, the last couple of days, getting my blood work done, taking a couple rest days, kind of, you know, pause that. But tomorrow, when I get back, it's all go, baby. It's all good. It's all good. You know that, though. You recognize that. Yeah. 
Actually, I just recognized it was going to be my seventh Olympia this year. You just turned 32, right? Yep. It was all downhill now. Yeah, I know. I feel it. No. No, I feel good, man. It's. They say your 30s is like your 20s with money. My feel is uh, were times. Yeah. Because I, uh, I think I was 27 when I won the first, my first title. Yeah. 26, 27. So it's kind of similar to you. So yeah, it's... it took me a couple extra years. Uh, to mature the mind, mature the body. But it happens when it's supposed to happen, right? Exactly. Three, I did the exercise in many. That's that. Three, three exercises. Three, um, three sets. Set, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? That's what more you than I would do, but well, let's be. I've already bumped up the weight. Oh, you did? Bit. Yeah. So this guy, he's trying to get out of working out. I go two warm ups. All right, let's go. Working set. Uh, Bro, I'm nearly 40. I need like a six warm ups. I'm joking, by the way. Set. A little pre-workout I got in me. Let's do another two sets. Okay, I'm good. I'm new. I'm new. Come on. Set. Yeah, that last little bit. So yeah. Yeah. It's a great day to get back. It's great. Good, 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 good. Yes. Nice. Woo. That really builds that mind muscle connection yeah. on it. Before yeah. you go anywhere else, this is, yeah. I think, flies for me when I realized, um, like, in order of train, in, in uh, order of mm -hmm. equipment pieces selected for my chance to work out, this has been in as number one yeah. for years. Yeah. And anytime I've gone and moved it around, let me see if I start with a press. Halfway through, I know. I just don't feel quite as much like tension in the pec muscle. Yeah. Right? It's great. I can lift a lot of weight, yeah. but it's just it's here, here, here. It's everywhere. This is like all in the pec, and it's just like it lights it up, man. Especially right in the beginning. What's that? How's your forearms? My fo this forearm, especially yeah. like this side, I, I have a lot of tightness in this arm. Yeah, I can see. Yeah right there but I'm, I'm seeing a physical therapist like twice a week okay so it's getting a lot better i can really move a lot better Good. um What's your flexibility like? it's not perfect that's but... not bad man for <laughs> for a guy of uh it's better than it was last year i gotta say uh, so when i i tell you some tips off camera <laughs> <laughs> it's... We don't give it now you can keep it rolling Good. we uh it's a secret and don't tell nobody secret. so don't tell nobody <laughs> it's a secret that you get and yeah. not these guys. Okay, all right, perfect. It's just to help flexibility. Okay. And it's something you can do every single day. Yeah. And it helps me. Like, I need to start doing it. Yeah. But because my tears, yeah. it's very hard for me to get back. Mm. But for me, when I was in the 212, I could hit shots. Yeah. Throw my elbows right through. Uh -huh. And it was because of this yeah. month. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely on all ears when it comes yeah. to that. Because if you can't get into the pose, you can't feel the muscles working. Yeah. So this? Nothing. It doesn't matter. This means doesn't shit. Matter. It actually yeah. means this is all work that never gets displayed. Yeah. Exactly. If you can't display that physique, yeah. then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. It's like yeah. somebody who does a 20 week prep turns up, oh, actually, the week of the show, yeah. then they're like, hey, I need a pause. And then they're like this up there. Yeah. There's zero. Oh, the shaking and the. Uh, yeah. Because there's no muscle control. No. They can, in the gym, they can throw all the way around, but then when it comes no. to displaying it, 
so much different. You know, and I've tried to tell so many people, it's like, you know, for example, just in the front door, I said, you're not trying to squeeze the shit out of it. Yeah. You should have tension. Yeah. You're just trying to throw it out. You know? That's the difference between weightlifting and bodybuilding. In my opinion, it's gonna be relatively heavy for me. That is uh, yeah. heavy for me when I was uh, <laughs> lifting too. So you just want to do a straight set? Whatever you think, man. I don't know. Watch your body weight. Mindset, mindset. Go, champ. Go. You got this. Good. 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 Come on. Ugh. Oh, yeah. One more. Mm. Let's go to the front. Do that. Come on. Try. Good. Two more. Come on. Yeah. You got it, Derek. Finish it. Come nice on. Come on. Big squeeze this thing. Yeah. That's muscular. Come on. Uh. Hold it. Three. Two. Squeeze this thing. One good job. So oh. good job. Oh. Yeah, those pauses really help. Thank you. Like it felt good, but then when I you made me pause, yeah, way better. It's like three times the contraction. So when uh, when we were doing this uh, before I, I done my retirement, I I think I was on like 140. Yeah, yeah. I'm like in Michael Jackson. I'm oh. like this, dude. I saw you, Hassan, yeah. and who else was there? Somebody else. Yeah. You guys were literally like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody was like, you need to like the Lord and focus on it's like I've gone through that stage of liking the Lord. That was like yeah. a few sets, but yeah. I wanted to get, you know, some sort of weight bearing right. on me. Right. So unless somebody was kinda holding me back or with a belt or some sort, right. right. Can't not fucking time for that shit. So my knees like holds you down, right? <laughs> yeah, but listen, you come around the corner, so I'm holding me down like that. <laughs> that is, that is not hey, a, this is the secret. That is, a, that is not even a YouTube video, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, let's go, bro. Hi. Come on, last second. Come on, Joe. Last opportunity. Perfect. Yeah. Come on. Just one time. Yeah, all the way. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh. Woo -wee. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, it's great. Here it is. Woo. I'm coming back for the muscles. <laughs> good. That looks really good, actually. And it looks so good. Yeah, it looks good. So smooth. And it looks like it's all in the chest. Yeah. Perfect. Let me just put my straps on. Yeah. These straps are available at driversland.com. <laughs> Don't get it wrong. Not a plug. Don't click the link. Yeah, click all no. the links yeah. in the bio. That's what I always say whenever I make a plug. I'm like, don't yeah. click the link. Yeah. Don't, don't click it. Don't use my code. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Don't subscribe either. No, yeah. This shirt is available in the dragonslayer.com store, and so is mine, along with these straps that are being designed by myself. Get it now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we're putting that in there. No, I don't. Yes, we are. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's going in there. Because it's. I would look at you, because you like, look at me in the camera, but you guys know. You guys know. I don't. I don't push anything. When is this, when is this, uh, this, this, uh, pump, pump, uh, what do you call it, pump cover? cover? When does it come off? Yeah. You, you told me I have to keep it on. No. Oh, oh okay. bro. All right. This one is respect, see. respect the gym. Respect the gym. Look at this. Look at this shelf. I don't know about a shelf. Jeez. Vince, that's a lot of, a lot of reps in the gym. A lot of hours. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Great. How many did Nick do? How many plates? You do four? Was it four on each side? Um, on this, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. We need, to, we need to look at his Instagram real quick. Whatever let it is, look, let me look. whatever it is, we got to do one more plate. And then like have Tag him have in. Trevor, have them film to where like you can't, see, can't see like you helping me on the reps. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't show me. Yeah, he's probably only doing like one or two plates. Yeah, no doubt. I know how he trains. You know, we trained together a couple times, right? And then, 
or for a while. Yeah, he he does he doesn't really lift that much to be honest. It's just all for the camera. Oh, really? Yeah, he's not that strong. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, so he's strong. He's stupid strong to be honest. So, how many exercises do you typically do in like a chest workout? Um, and does it does it change between like a prep? versus an off season? The only thing that I would change is my, uh, I change chest twice a week. Hit oh, chest okay. twice. So the frequency, how often you train? So I would hit chest just before shoulder workout. In fact, we talked about this yesterday, didn't we? You asked oh, me really? a similar question. So my split back then was Sunday legs, hamstrings Monday morning fasted. Really? Yeah, so this is the off season. So me and Rafa would do this. And then we would go and get breakfast. Uh -huh. When we come back a couple of hours later, have our chest day. Then the next day we'll do back, take Wednesday off, Thursday arms, shoulders. I do um, a couple of sets of chest before shoulders because okay. my shoulders weren't needed. Yeah. And then um, Saturday off. So twice a week I would have, you know, mm. uh, two rest days. And they were very... When me and Rafa set a trainer, first of all, he was like, oh, bro, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to train again later on. I was like, okay. Yeah. Two weeks time, you're going to change the mental mentality. <laughs> and two weeks in, he was like, hey, bro, I understand a lot. Yeah. But we would go at it and we would do five exercises. Sets wise, probably like it all depends on the body papa, like probably 20, 20 to twenty-six sets. sets. Wow. On a body pound. Yeah. That's all year round. Like off, all year round. Off season you wouldn't like do a little less and like no. so I you... don't get me wrong, I've tried different yeah. uh, methodologies. Yeah. Um, I've trained with Dorian, I've trained with Milos, I've trained with people who are completely polar opposites. Right, right. I found my groove. And and um, one thing about me is like, I love to throw heavy weight around. Yeah. So I would maybe say we're doing shoulders, right? Yeah. This would be a five plate for like 10 reps or whatever it would be. And then I would go over to side raises and I maybe pick up like 25, 30s and pump the reps up. So it's complete, my, excuse me, no, spit my lobby. Uh, keep that DNA. <laughs> yeah. um, complete muscle confusion. Just grab it down. <laughs> yeah. uh, complete muscle confusion. And there was no kind of systematic approach to, I mean, there was no consistent systematic approach to it. Like, look at a branch. Yeah. Same style. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't defer. Yeah. He ain't doing anything but the same things. I guess the reason I ask is because there's time periods where, like, before, like, getting ready for a show, like, pre contest. Dude, it's just all out, smashing it every day, pretty yes. much, right? So like, tons of exercises, lots of sets, right? Really intense training. Off season, I actually have found that whenever I kind of back off just a little bit yeah. here and there. Now you need to have like hard, intense training sessions. You know, I would say at least a couple times a month uh -huh. when it comes to like, you know, chest every other week or something like that. But I find like whenever I I end up backing it off just just a little bit, I end up like my body's more fresh and it ends up like recovering and, and filling out and improving more. I don't know, it's just weird. Something that I've noticed over the last few years, yeah. whenever I tend to, like, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it, I'm hammering yeah. it, it's just not going. And then like, I need almost like a back off, like a deload week a little okay. bit. And I'll do like four exercises maybe. But you're okay. saying, sorry. Yeah, no, that's all I'm saying. You're saying you have a purpose week built in. Yeah. So well, it, it, not, not even built in, it's just more like, okay, like I just know I need it now. Yes. It's never like, okay, three weeks this, and then one week this. It's more like, okay, I've smashed it over and over and over. Yeah. I could just feel I need to kind of back off a little. So listening to this, my deload week yeah. would be on the road. Yeah, so like that's me this week, yeah. So I would use me traveling, because listen, you, you're not going to a gym. You're not going all the way to the UK, right? I'm going right. to um, um, right. the gyms over in the UK, all Body Power, like and, 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 yeah. and all them, and I'm trying to do PRs. Yeah. You know, we're training yeah. at midnight, two o'clock in the morning. We're, we're not doing that. Jet we're trying to get a, a workout in. We're around our peers. We've got yeah. a lot of fans watching us. If you succumb to that pressure that trying to train like you do in your regular gym with all your yeah. creature comforts, your food on point, you're going to get injured fast. Something's going to happen. So, yeah. to your point, that's my deal, Lord. Yeah. But I go in and I kind of push a little, a little, uh, a little weight, not a lot of weight. Right. I'm doing something. It's amount, right? Yeah, I mean, it's substance. Like you're feeling it. For sure. But I, I'm, I'm not going all in with a mindset. But then when I shut shop, oh my god. Then it's. Then you, you can't know. listen to the inner pitch because every yeah. day you yeah, want yeah. to have a rest day and it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. But it's earned at that point in time. Come that right. Wednesday. Come that Saturday. It was earned, not yeah. given, right? Exactly. Right. Hang on. Oh, my okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. 
Good. That was good. Oh man, that's so good. Also, you know, the whole team no sleep element and you know, don't miss days and I've trained yeah. three weeks in a row, nothing. You you're just setting yourself up for lack of progress. Your mindset might be strong, but instead of kind of using that mindset to kind of flex on Instagram, yeah. you could be putting that into better use. It's like having a, a very strong mindset is something you should nurture. Right. Having that ability to be like, oh man, I'm tired, but I can't take a day off because I'm a savage. Yeah. It's like, bro, taking a day off is allowing your body to grow. Just I feed yourself the same. For some people, how is this? You almost got two types of people. People that need that kick in the butt and push yeah. to go harder. And then some people need to be reined back in. So for me, I was that I was that person that's like, I'm just gonna go all in every day, kill it. So I'm like, I got a strong mentality, you know, strong mental fortitude, I'm gonna kill it every day. But I couldn't seem to have a strong mentality when it came to reining it back in. Of course. Learning how to do that and being good with it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like being going, like, listen, I'm not I'm not being a wimp. No, I'm not backing down. It's this is what I need to do. Being strong-minded enough to go, this is what I need to do today to get what I want tomorrow, to get the result that I'm looking for yeah. tomorrow. So yeah. I've had to try to develop that kind of a mindset too for me. Some people do need a kick in the butt, and there's times where I need a kick in the butt, bro, yeah. believe me. <laughs> but, but I think we're, we're speaking to the majority of people who need a kick in the butt. Yeah. For, sure. for, for the finely tuned individuals who get up that don't need yeah. to praise, don't need any type of coaching yeah. it you know yeah. you and i kind of relate on this yeah that we sometimes have the reins pulled back um it, it was in no benefit i think more more was better was the mentality yes and yeah. i'm not allowing myself to feel like a wimp but you'd rather you know? stay in the gym for three or four hours and do every single piece of equipment um, then to then to walk out and be like man maybe i should have just like one more set one more exercise i do remember doing that when i first came off the plane to america <laughs> i jumped on every single piece of yeah. old gym Bro, and I'm, 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 this here, I'm like, I'm leaving today. I need to hit every piece yeah. of work. <laughs> I know. I remember jumping on pieces in Gold's Gym. I was like, oh, that must be a shoulder piece. Yeah. Fucking hamstring piece. <laughs> I, well, again, I grew up with nothing. So. Strong. One up at a time. One up at a time. One up. One up at a time. Nice. Good. Perfect. Nice, bro. Come on. Strong. Come on. Getting better today, bro. Let's go. Come on, stay in. He's on you, bro. Yes. All the way. Yes, right. Perfect. All right. Ooh. It comes in too, doesn't it? It does. It's oh, nice. Look at that activation. Stretch is so good. That's crazy. Derek, this bodybuilding thing doesn't work out for you. Yeah. You'll make a good transvestite. <laughs> you got some big titties going on there. Stretch is so good on this. See my grip tool? I always do this. See we say grip. As you can see all this right here just working. All that upper chest. It's crazy. So for everybody that is watching oh, yeah. like our YouTube, what, what is it that you're doing right now? Like you got a challenge, right? Yeah, I, I have. Uh well I was talking to you, but yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll talk, yeah, yeah. Yeah. talk down the barrel. So um november of this year i turned 40. um i know i look 26. yeah bro. but uh i turned 40 and 2018 last time you and i competed against each other uh -huh. was truly like something that i had my mind into yeah like prep daily routine that involved training something i encompassed myself in beat myself up on outside of 2018 i put myself in off seasons but it's not the same yeah there was no suffering yeah um, so I sat back and, and even though there's a lot of other things that are going on in my life that I'm very blessed for, the businesses, family, there's still a big element that I'm, that I've Like you need that drive, something, if I can relate, sorry to interrupt no, you. No, 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 no. But it was like whenever I quit wrestling. Yes. And it was like, oh my gosh, I need that, com I have a competitive spirit within me. Absolutely. I need something to, to like drive me more. I need something to, to focus on that I can 
you know, go after every single day with passion. Yeah. And that for me was, was bodybuilding. Yeah. But yeah. So, so you exactly you transition from the wrestling, which give you that completion in your life. Yeah. Bodybuilding then take the boxing field plus more. Yeah. So then for me, obviously retiring on my behalf, not anybody else's, I was left with this big void which I filled all our bandwidth up, but then there was no it was just not that element that I have lived my everyday life for, you know. Since 19, I was a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. And then to retire two years ago from my competition and then have this, this void. Even though I was training, I felt I was going through the motions. So right now, I got a structure again. Um, we're doing a lot of cool things on, on, on my YouTube page where we're going to be doing some unique training okay. with some different celebrities. So is it like, uh, is it like, Jay Cutler's fit for 50 or is it something different? No, Jay is all about bodybuilding. I understand okay. how that came about is so I was like, Jay, we're turning yeah. milestone years on the same year that we're both doing something. Yeah. So like I said, um, when I, I done it on one of the, the episodes, I said I understand that, you know, when the greatest in our sport is also doing a transformation yeah. in fit for fifty. Okay. Um that's we were gonna call it fit for forty. Really? But then we're kinda like, oh shit, so now we're calling it like a flex for challenge. Um <laughs> <laughs> but with him starting that up, we as a team started speaking about doing this in January. Okay. Well, long before you heard anything else. So all right, all right. when he came out with his, we were like, well, shit, we're not doing that. Yeah. For me, I'm, I'm trying to get bigger, stronger, faster, more cardiovascular endurance. Ah. So I want to be the best version of myself. Jay is obviously I trying like to get back that, up. Man. I like that. So, I don't know where I'll be whenever I'm retired from bodybuilding for many years. Him. But honestly, I would have to say, I almost want to go back to my wrestling type training where it's cardiovascular, yeah. you're feeling just good in your body, yeah. feel, you know, agile and, and yeah, flexible. Yes. That's really cool. So it's, I think that's going to appeal to a lot of people because I got to be honest, like, like putting on a hundred pounds of muscle, yeah. I feel different yeah. than I did when I was a wrestler yeah. and I was training differently. So I've kind of thought to myself, like, what's it going to be like? when I'm done bodybuilding. Yeah. You see some guys that still look jacked, like Jay. Yeah. You see some guys who slim down to almost nothing. Yeah. And then you see some guys like with what you're doing, you're wanting to be, like, or like a Dorian, where you want yeah. to be flexible, fit, feel good in your body. And I think that's really cool to see that transition from you being the seven time champion, 212 Mr. Olympia, to now you're doing this. And also still being able to maintain that bodybuilding look though. Like you still look like you could jump back on stage like that. It's just this light dry feeling. Uh, that might help. standing too, there you know, be a little either. different. But you know, get back, get back. <laughs> no, but but I, I first of all I appreciate the kind of words. Um, oh, I, mean I, it, I guess where where I am now in in my life, there's there's a lot of things that I align to, and I think that this also will help yeah. me get into some more opportunities. Yeah. So when I was a, a competing as a bodybuilder. I had the mentality of a bodybuilder. There was nothing but bodybuilding. Right now, that chapter is getting, you know, yeah. was a part of the book. Yeah. You now are living that day to day, that mentality. You haven't any thoughts about what the future is. You might yeah. think sometimes like, hmm, yeah. what would it be like yeah. I in wonder what five it's years be time, like. 10 years time. Yeah. But that is just a thought that comes yeah. and goes. But yeah. the fact is you're thinking about it, which is yeah. good. Yeah. But yeah. don't put any type of, action into it yeah the fact that you're thinking about it is great now with me i had them same thoughts mm -hmm. um so with now the the excitement for me now is putting myself into uncomfortable situations like there's been a very long time when i've been cardiovascularly gas really? i used to do it on leg day yeah. but i'm thinking shit that's not fun but yeah i want to be like that yeah i want to be like i think i want to die you do ultra marathons you yeah. do like iron man's Let's just get through. Let's just start. Let's just get through this workout for us, <laughs> Mr. Olympia marathons. If I start running long distance marathons, I can forget this physique. Nah, you Dip look your good right now. Put a calf and forearms and uh, all the rest. It's, is, uh, it's crazy how how good you look right now, man. For having not competed five years and no show in mind, like supplement wise too. Yeah, I, I've been very low on that. Yeah, hey, you're super healthy. With with the mindset of mm -hmm. you know. Family and everything else is always in my mind. You have a lot to balance, man. You're doing a good job. Sure. Yeah, you're taking the. I'll, I'll get there. Taking the mantle, no? Yeah, I'll That's get there. Yeah. When you are doing this to the viewers that are watching at home, are you? I know what I'm doing. Yeah. So are you squeezing the contraction at the top and then 
keeping that contraction in the packs? Yeah. Or are you coming off the packs? If I go fast, yeah, it does come off the pack Ooh, a little bit, just button. a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying my best to mm -hmm. to keep that constant tension. Yeah. I also notice too whenever I go a little bit heavier, I do like what we talked about earlier. Yeah. I tend to not arch my back. I kind of roll forward. Yeah. So I'm so trying to be so conscious of keeping that chest up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, so as I, my muscles fatigue, I go a little heavier. I tend to slacken just my form just a little bit, but I'm super conscious of keeping my chest up, shoulders back like this, and then obviously like keeping that constant tension through the full range of motion. So that's the perfect rep. Yeah. That's the ideal way that I would like to be training. But you know, and, and also when I feel that you start throwing in your shoulders, when you start throwing in your triceps, or to your point, yeah. your your chest, your arm, uh -huh. your and your spine is gone, deload. Yeah. Deload. Get, get, yeah. if, if you start throwing form and shoulders start yeah. coming through, or you start getting sloppy, get your trainer player to, yeah. to, to drop set that yeah. or put it down, reassess yourself, get a plate or two off, go back in. Because even though I'm conscious of like, I know this is how I need to train, this is how I want to perform the exercise, every rep, every set, mm -hmm. like even at the level of, that I'm thinking yeah. and want to be, I still slip up. I go a little fast. Absolutely. I start thinking about the number of reps I want to get rather than, or like the weight that I'm doing rather than that perfect, good, solid rep. So, you know, every day we come to practice, man. Every day, <laughs> every day. We're still learning. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. Not much left today, bro. Let's go. Not much left here. Not much left here. Let's go. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Push. 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 Perfect. Woo! It's like my, uh, what is it, my sixth YouTube workout in two months. Is that right? Dang. Number six. We're not, not missing a beat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, when I'm gone, you you're gotta, you're gonna have a few fans here waiting for you. Oh, here? I, we all, I know the sign. They kind of... <laughs> Mingle? Circle. Yeah. That's good. They're, they're trying to wait for your eye contact. They're very respectful. It's an honor, man. For real. Very respectful. It's an honor. This is the gym. That This is why I built this gym, right? It's for guys like yourself to come in, be appreciated, feel like what you're doing in your day-to-day -day where the doors are closed, when you get open them doors and you go to places outside of your creature comforts and your day-to-days it's like oh shit this is a product of what i've been putting in well i mean you were a, a bodybuilder first so you were in the gym in the j trenches training day in day out so you know what bodybuilders want need and love right what you created here is incredible and that's why this is so special and i wish it was in florida <laughs> i wish it was a little closer to me well but it's here in vegas and, and what a great place to put it man that's all you know you can take Florida. yeah <laughs> get these olympia titles there we go building the empire it's cool man it's really cool to see what you created and and now it's not just bodybuilders that want to be here you got ufc fighters you have the guys that were here earlier like yeah. a lot of big name celebrities and influencers that come through here daily dude yeah. like how awesome yeah. is that doing you know the beautiful thing is about all that good all these fighters, all these business guys, yeah, they all know about us in bodybuilding. That's cool. And a lot so, because of you, thanks to you, because it takes someone special like yourself, Chris Bumstead. I would hope me as, as someone, or Nick Walker, whoever, it takes those special individuals to reach out to a different audience and bring them in. Just, just, come here. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Feel well, feel well, feel well. Come on, Dan. Come on, my man. Mm. Mm. One rap closer. Mm. Come on, champ, champ. Show me. Yes. yes. Now we're working, Dad. Now we're working. Come on, let's go. I'm here. I'm here. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up, 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 up. Sorry, sorry. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Squeeze. Mm. Yes. Oh. Okay. I think it's time for this to come back. Back here, get it. Can you help? Can you help? Oh. Where's the mirror? You need the mirror. Right there. <laughs> I'm over there. Oh. Get front up. Oh. 
Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna go in front of you. I'm gonna see what you look like. Honey. Do your front row abs. That's so improved. So improved. Do your front double. That has always been in my eyes a signature shot. It's a beautiful shot. Should have hit some abs first. Should have hit some abs and died in first. You look so <laughs> Done to keep your waist small. So how many meals what is it? Um, I actually think that you need to take a break from how many meals you're eating. Mm. So a lot of guys, they're eating six, seven meals a day, yeah. year round. That's my tons problem. of protein. Yeah. I think you need to give your body a break. Uh -huh. I think it's okay that you back down the protein in the off season a little bit, especially when you have more calories. Like you have more carbs, you have more fats. Mm. So. If you're only getting 150 grams of protein in, or like I'm only getting yeah. 150 grams of protein in, like I'm okay with that for maybe a few days of the week, and then uh -huh. a couple of the days of the week I do bump it up. And so I would say eating three or four meals a day for yeah. for a few weeks on end, uh -huh. giving my digestive system a break, not expanding this here, letting my stomach shrink actually. Uh -huh. So whenever I start to actually go on a strict six or five six uh meals a day meal plan uh -huh. start my prep it i'm actually full like i'm actually pretty full when i start like i'm like man it's yeah i don't need any more than this and so but the thing is like after a few days maybe it does take excuse me maybe it does take somewhere between like one to two weeks yeah then i start to get like super hungry and when i start getting super hungry that's when i know yeah. my, my metabolism metab yeah and then having those six meals a day, yeah. I'm burning through it so much more than going, I gotta force feed six meals. I'd rather just get three heavier, more dense meals. Uh -huh. Now I'm not talking about food volume. Right. I'm talking about like having like a high calorie, you know, three meals right. that eat like a normal person. Uh -huh. Eat just over yeah. um, like your calorie, like just, just be in a, a slight calorie surplus. It's uh, just, your whole day into three meals, right? Yeah. So, like yeah. That? so Maybe three meals on a shake. So uh, my, my wife's a nutrition diet, dietitian. We, like, okay. I spoke yesterday about. She was telling me the exact same thing in the office. Really? She was saying to me, you need to eat significantly less. I yeah. don't think that you eat six or seven meals is conducive. You're not giving your it's body not. or your digestive system a, a rest. Uh -uh. But trying to tell me, a body that has been doing yeah. this since I was 19, yeah. it's like, I understand, babe, I, I love you. Yeah. But I have to do what Coach Hill tells me. Exactly. So I think what, what I wish I put my wife. You always had a together. tight waist level. That is one thing. I know you had digestive issues, oh, but painful. like you always had a good core. That's the thing. I think it's because I couldn't eat enough. Really? The default of that, even though I still ate yeah. what I should have ate, I couldn't eat more. Really? So my off season never existed. Yeah. And um, when it did exist, and I was blending chicken breast and I was blending steaks. Yeah. Oh my God. I know. Hold on. We got, you, you were the OG liquid diet? The OG. Oh, jeez. I didn't tell anybody though. Who wants to know oh, about that shit? Everybody was giving like Hunter a hard time. About I, it, bro. Well, Hunter was also <laughs> eating uh, Rice Krispies. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. A little bit. Okay. But on top of his blended chicken breast. But what I was doing in the 212, yeah. blended chicken breast and rice. Wow. To make that the, sounds to, disgusting. To make the, the, sorry, to make the adequate meal yes. number throughout the day. So, but then when, to your point, when he got close to the show, my metabolism was. Yeah. And then I couldn't even not think about my next meal exactly but i was never i've never never been overly hungry I like think, ravenous oh my god i can't no really no i know that feeling bro i 
like ever since I started bodybuilding, I've been ravenous. That's Pretty much. I, I'm talking like 2015. Oh, like shit. for years and years, I've been hungry constantly. Um, but no, I, I think as far as like the liquid diet thing, yeah. you're still getting the same nutrients. It's the same foods, just blended up and, and liquefied, right? So it's, I don't yeah. think that there should be much of an argument about like if you're blending up chicken breast or steak or whatever you're saying with some rice, I think that's fine. But yeah, I think you need to be getting those specific food types in, right? Yeah, I, I would just add to that too. If I had the choice, if I had the appetite, I would eat. Yeah. Because as you know, when you eat, you produce enzymes. That's right. Them and these enzymes that you you truly right. need. When you drink in a shake with the same micro micronutrients, macronutrients, and them enzymes are, are, yeah. are missing, that is the only difference. But again, it was just like, okay, sometimes I had half a blended meal and half a chewed meal. Really? Oh, I mean, I have been the most creative <laughs> <That's crazy>. athlete <laughs> ever. But it was all down to just my, my meals. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you, you said your wife is a dietitian, right? Yes. Master so, so you know, she knows like digestion actually starts in the mouth, not in the gut, but the mouth, right? Yeah. Produce that saliva, chewing, that is actually where digestion starts. So yeah, I don't know. And I also think too, like if I were to eat a steak, mm -hmm. I would rather cut it up super like small, like That's tiny right. little bits. Yes. So it digests easier. It's tiny little small. size, like my thumbnail. Itty bitty. Like my, literally my take like shears and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still to this day, I use scissors. Really? I still got bad habits <laughs> from bodybuilding. <laughs> Good, Daddy. Come on. Yeah. Normally, I I don't do it like that. I normally just kind of like. Uh -huh. with my palms this time i noticed the hand grip that you told me to do yeah i was like pushing my thumbs together that felt really good just playing around with different things right with yeah i got one i have to go i got one more set yeah whatever you need man i just appreciate you of course you owe me today man of course of course after I think we would have timed this beautifully had we not got mobbed. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Let's see. Not much left. This is it. Last chance. Last opportunity. Good job. Good. Uh. Put him in, Dad. Uh. Yes. Uh, Finish it. Oh, uh, well, you know, come on. Uh, Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, true. Okay. It's the only thing I'm. Don't get, don't get the weight, Trev. Don't get the weight. <laughs> this is a strategy of mine, by the way. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. Wait for you to tire. Yeah. We'll get the old man stamina to come oh, to us. Still going. Jeez. <laughs> every in the he comment section. Every in the comment section. Probably mine because you're gonna edit this shit out. <laughs> no, every in the comment section. See what I'm doing, yeah? <laughs> These young butts ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> oh. One day. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> oh, let's go, bro. Fucking my day. <laughs> Yeah, watch, watch, I'm helping the whole time though. Yeah, don't stand behind me. It takes the novelty of me looking <laughs> cool. Lingering <laughs> monster behind me. No, you're good, bro. All right, let's go, change. Come on, last set here. Last chance. Come on, last opportunity to get better here. That's all we can't get, bro. Come on, push. Yes. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Last one. Okay, let's go. Come on, one more. One more. Yeah. Ah. Let's go, let's go. It's just like, I love a little sneaky look. Hold on. Only because I'm on a sneaky You keep your on. Okay, I'm keeping my on. I'm not the Fletch Lewis I used yeah. to stand next to, okay? Listen, this is nobody. This is, uh. Excuse me, I'm myself. That's I don't look like that anymore. It's all oh, in his back, too. Look at this. Look at his arms, chest. Take yours off, man. Tell him what you were. All right, all right. All right. You. And at the top of the fucking tree.
All right, where's no, no, no pause it, no pause where, it. Where's the center stage? Because that's where that's where you need to be. Uh, if I and but if it was me versus you, where's where's the you second place? You just had an excellent idea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's I just got to next to you. Go ahead. I'm gonna look at you. It's all about you, bro. Do the side chance. Let's go. Woo! Look at this. This guy! Look at this guy! <laughs> oh, I love it! That pivotal tilt, top side lamp up. I don't know, what's the legs look like? Uh, Hold on, let me see yours first. Uh, Alright, let's, let's keep it down. Let's keep them down, bro. They're still out. They're shredded. They're just, small. They're just small and ready. Small and lean. I'm a fitness model now. See, I do this shit. Hey, don't mind me. I'm, I'm staring, bro. I'm miring right now. It's crazy. It's I hit them this, yesterday. This is f***ing... This is bodybuilding. Off-season bodybuilding. So this, right here. This... Is in mind to muscle connection training because a lot of people don't get this a lot of people don't get this in mind to muscle all these deep little f***ing that's when you're doing leg extensions and you can separate yourself squeezes isolations these little indents i work my ass off to get like i'm not i don't have them so now obviously they're small but they're still cut deep cuts because yeah. i would squeeze Crazy. i would my heels in and out yeah. and stuff but I would try to imagine isolating all these little intricate details. Yeah. Understanding like where these muscles are actually like moving. Mm -hmm. So these are actually up in your hip, yeah. right? So like this this is the movement here. So like if you do like leg extensions, yeah. actually lifting your leg a little bit off the pad Preach. is going to actually hit this mm -hmm. middle part yeah. versus just doing this like knee extension. Yeah, you might get a little bit here, but you're not getting all of it. Yeah, You're only getting it mostly down here. So like the full leg extension will be here and then lifting as well. So now you see all the, like instead of just at the bottom, now you see all the muscles contract there. All right, just wrapped up a chest workout here with 212 Mr. Olympia champion and second in the world, soon to be first. I hope so, brother, that's there what we're go. going for. That's what he's going for. And today was a, a great honor, obviously, for us to have I would say some time that we don't normally have. Traveling around the world together, you know, even if we are able to train in the same gym, we don't have this time to, you know, shoot the shit and have some fun. And, and today's workout was just that. This is the last um, on the road stop for him. So it's a pleasure for me to see him in this starting point. He's going to be heading home now, getting himself back into Florida, into camp, and that mindset is going to change. So right now to have this time, as I said, is very appreciative. Very excited. We just uh, yesterday finished a incredible podcast. Two hours. Two hours, which flew like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, yeah, for me to you, mate, it's a pleasure. It's so fucking, yeah. I'm so happy to see the improvements you made, the mindset you have now going into this year as Olympia, yeah, and all the changes that you've made mentally, physically, yeah. and all the things that have been Thank going on, you. on stage yeah. and off. So for me to you, this is your home from home when you're in Vegas. Thank you, man. And it's always a pleasure to have, have this time. My home is your home too, Gar. Thank you so much. Huge pleasure and always an honor. Seven time Mr. Olympia, 212. Lex Lewis, thank you so much, brother. Well, one thing that I know, if anything, want to see you do that I couldn't do is get that champ jump stock. Yes. Thank you so much. So this is this is something you, now that you. I am uh, cheering from the terraces on my neutrally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neutrally. Go down it. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much. But anyway, man. my man, yeah. I know you're, you're flying back. Well, I have a podcast now with Nick Walker, yeah. um, somebody that's going to be in your class, somebody that is pushing you, um, you know, yeah. mentally, physically, whatever, yeah. if they are or not. But yeah. either way, friendly rival. Friendly, friendly rival. <laughs> Nothing that we had. No, that was for real. <laughs>
But not no, anymore. It's um, it, it is an honor, man, because you are the guy that inspired me from the get go. But now to call you a friend and be able to have this, like you said, personal time together where we we li we have genuine conversations, yeah. we we crack jokes, we get in here, we bust our butt, we work hard, do what we love still, and um, you know. For, to have your support and to take time out of your day, your busy schedule. Like I think I'm busy. I'm I'm super busy, but I see you and I'm like, man, this dude runs circles around me. Man. So Those people are circles around me. So, <laughs> yeah, so leveling up. Exactly. So uh, leveling. You're, you're you're always you've always been an inspiration to me, man. And uh, thank you for your time, bro. Course, really appreciate it. Appreciate thank you. Appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Yep. Oh, he stole it. Dream big, blah blah blah. I'm Stay strong, Flex Lewis. Go trip. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm walking in here all slow mo. Crewmate, big enough to hold of us. <laughs> <laughs>